Hello friends, in this video we will learn about the markings and specific uses of the Williams graduated probe. So let's begin. Williams graduated probe is a periodontal probe and periodontal probes are used to locate, measure and mark pockets as well as determine the course of the pockets on individual tooth surfaces. The Williams graduated probe is also known as University of Michigan O probe with Williams markings. Let's now first learn about the specific periodontal uses of the Williams graduated probe. So the first use of the Williams probe is to check for bleeding on probing around the teeth. The second use of the Williams probe is to measure the periodontal pocket depth. Periodontal pocket is a pathologically deepened gingival sulcus and its depth is measured from the gingival margin to the base of the pocket. The third use of the Williams probe is to measure the degree of gingival recession on a tooth. It is measured from the gingival crest to the CEJ. The fourth use of the Williams probe is to measure the amount of clinical attachment loss around a tooth. It is also known as CAL. It is the distance between the base of the pocket and a fixed point on the crown like the CEJ. The fifth use of the Williams probe is that it is used to measure the width of the attached gingiva. The width of the attached gingiva is an important clinical parameter. It is the distance between the mucogingival junction and the projection on the external surface of the bottom of the gingival sulcus or the periodontal pocket. So we have learned the 5 uses of the Williams probe. Let's now see what markings are present and what markings are missing on the Williams probe. The 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th mm markings are present on the Williams probe. And the 4th and 6th mm markings are missing on the Williams probe. So now we have learned about the specific uses of the Williams probe and seen what markings are present and what markings are missing on the Williams probe. Now before proceeding to knowing the reasons for the missing 4th and 6th mm markings, we need to first learn the classification of chronic periodontitis as it would help us to understand the reasons for the missing markings. Chronic periodontitis is classified into mild, moderate and severe types based upon the amount of clinical attachment loss. In the mild type, the attachment loss is between 1 to 2 mm. In the moderate type, it is between 3 to 4 mm. And in the severe type, the attachment loss is greater than or equal to 5 mm. Now coming to the reason for the missing markings. One reason is that when less markings are present on the probe, therefore there will be better visibility and then it will reduce the confusion and help the clinician to determine the accurate pocket depth easily. Another reason is that the 5mm marking which is present on the probe is the optimum pocket depth which can be managed and the 4th and 6th mm marking on either side of 5mm are missing where 4mm is the upper limit of moderate periodontitis and 6mm is the lower limit for severe periodontitis. Hence it will help to easily differentiate between moderate and severe forms of periodontitis. Please subscribe our channel Dento Friend for more such videos and do hit the bell icon.